Hello boys and girls, if you're here with me today, that means you need me to help you with your math lesson for Tuesday, January 12th. So let's get started with that. We are in your Envisions Volume 1 book on page 217. We are on topic 6 and we're on lesson 6.5, okay? So today we're talking about uh, addition word problems. We've been talking a lot about ad addition and that means putting two groups together, right? To get all, oh, to find out how we have how many we have in all, addition is putting together, right? So when I say a word problem, I mean a problem that doesn't have the numbers in a number sentence or an equation. This is a sentence that has a story, and we have to figure out the equation and the answer. Okay. So in this solve and share, here's our word problem. It says. Four squirrels are eating lunch at the squirrel feeder. Two more join them. How many are eating at the feeder now? Show how you know in two ways, and then explain how you know. So, we have some information. We have a story, right? We know that there are four squirrels eating lunch at the squirrel feeder. Here they are. See all four of them? Two more join them, it says. Now, if we are looking, at our word problem over here, it says four squirrels are eating lunch at squirrel feeder. Two more join them. So we have some clues. The number four and the number two, right? This is how many we're starting with, four, and two more are adding to that group. Two more are joining them. So now we need to find out how many are at the feeder now. Okay, well we see the four here. How can we show that two more join them. We can draw two more squirrels, can't we? That's hard for me to do. So I think I'm gonna use counters. How many joined the, the four that were at the feeder? Two. So I'm gonna put two counters to show the two that joined them. It says how many are at the feeder are eating at the feeder now? So all I have to do is count them all up, right? To see how many there are in all. Just like we've been doing on every other lesson this week, right? And last week. Now, I don't need to start with one. I could count all these ones up again and add these ones to it. But I already know that the four squirrels that are here, there's a group of four, right? So I don't have to count them again. I'm going to put four in my head and I'm going to count on four, five, six, all together. There are six squirrels at the feeder. We started with four. They were already there eating lunch at the feeder. Now we add, we use this sign, this plus sign, to add the two more that join them, right? Two. That's what we used our counters to represent, those two. And that equals six. So, it's said to show two ways how we know. We used picture, right? The four squirrels here plus the two counters. And we used an equation. Four plus two equals six. We could write it as a number sentence as well, like we've been doing. Four and, we write the word and. It's kind of messy, that's okay. 4 and 2 is 6. Look at all those different ways we can show how we know that there are now 6 squirrels at the feeder. We figured out the problem. We went through all of its parts to find out how many there are in all. Great job. Let's go ahead and move on to um, visual learning. I'll see you there. Okay, here we go. Make sure you're focused on the screen and paying attention. What is happening in the picture? There are dogs in the water and dogs running toward the water. How many dogs are in the water? Okay, it says there are dogs in the water and dogs running toward the water. How many are in the water? There's the dogs that are in the water. We're going to have to count them. There's quite a few. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six. Looks like six dogs are in the water. Six. How many dogs are going to join them? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three. You can draw a picture to show what is happening. What does the picture show? There is a drawing of six dogs and a drawing of three more dogs, circled with an arrow to join the other group. The three dogs also have an arrow to show that they are joining the six. How can you find how many dogs there are in all? What do you think? How can we find out how many dogs there are in all? We know that we're gonna have to count them all up, right? Because now they're all part of the whole, right? This is one part. This is another part, and together they make a whole, right? So we could count them all up. We could start with one, but we know that this group has six. So we could put six in our head and count on with these three. Let's see what they say. You can count all the dog pictures. What does the picture show? This picture shows nine counters. How is this picture similar to the other two pictures? They each have nine in all. You can also use an equation to show what is happening. Six plus three equals nine. Okay. What does the six in the equation represent? What does the three in the equation represent? There are six dogs in the water. Three dogs are joining them. What does the nine mean? Nine is the number of dogs in all. Now you know different ways to show an addition problem. All right, do you think we're ready to move on to the practice pages? I think we're ready, let's go. Okay, it says, listen to the story and draw a picture to show what is happening, and then write the equation. Here we go, listen to my story. Number one, it says, there are six sea stars on the beach. One more joins them. How many sea stars are there in all? Okay, so it said there are six sea stars on the beach. I'm going to use, actually, I think I'll use counters. It's drawing the sea stars, but that's difficult for me. So I'm going to just use counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there were six sea stars to begin with. And then one more joins them. Now, how many does that make in all? We had six to start, so that's the first number. In our equation that's one part right and then one more joins them so we have to add right so we use a plus sign and there's our one more and then equals we use this sign to show that six and one is the same as let's see how many six we don't need to count them up because we already know this is a group of six and count keep counting six seven. So we put a seven because that's how many there are in all. Six plus one equals seven. Six and one is seven. Great job. Let's move on. All right. You're going to listen to me tell you the stories on each of these problems, okay? And we're going to write the equation. Are you ready? Number two says, three birds are sitting in a tree. Seven more join them. How many birds are sitting in all? So there's the three birds, right? That's one part. So we're going to write that here, three. And we're adding, right? Another group is joining them. So we have to use a plus sign. Three plus, how many did it say? We're joining them? Seven. Seven more. So we'll put a seven here. Now we need to know how many that equals, right? We don't need to start from one. I definitely don't want you to start from one right here. We know that this group is seven, right? That's the big group, right? There's more here. So let's start with this in our head, okay? 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten birds in all because three and seven are partners in ten. There we go. Let's look at number three. Five squirrels were looking for, are looking for food. Four more join them. How many squirrels are there in all? Okay, there's five squirrels looking for food. So that's the first number in our equation. That's, our, that's one part, right? Five. We have squirrels joining them. So we need to put a plus sign, right? How many are joining them? Four. So let's put a four here. Now, how many does that make in all? What does that equal? Don't forget your equal sign right there. Five plus four equals what? Now, yeah, you can count them all up. If that's the easiest way and the only way you could do it right now, that's fine. But what I want you to work on is putting the big number in your head. The bigger number is five, right? Put the big number in your head. Put four on your fingers if you need to. Big numbers in our head, and we're going to count on five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine squirrels were looking for food altogether. Great work. Okay, number four. You don't have any pictures here. So we're going to have to draw the picture and the equation, okay? I think let's just use counters. So if you have crayons, just use, just use um, your crayons to show the numbers, okay? I'll read the whole equation first and you can draw your picture and write the equation. There is one turtle on the beach. Five more walk up. How many turtles are there in all? Okay, so there's one turtle in the, on the beach. Okay, so I can use um, this counter to show one. I'm going to take a different color to show the other group, right? This is one part, and it says five more walk up. So I'm going to use yellow to show the five that walk up. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so we can start writing our equation, right? There's one turtle on the beach plus five more walk up. So one plus five equals, and how many does that make in all? Start with the big number and count on. Five and one more is six. Good. So six turtles all together, right? Great job. Number five, it says, oh, we're doing the same thing, so we're gonna need our counters again. We'll start with red. Two turtles swim in the water. Let's go ahead and draw two right away. Two turtles swim in the water. Six more join them. Okay, we need six yellow then to show the other part, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many tur turtles are swimming in all? <clears throat> so we started with one part, which was two turtles, right? Then more join them. So we're adding. So we use a plus sign to show that we are putting these groups together. Two and one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six, join, six more join them. We need to know how many that is in all. If we have six, we add two more. We're going to start with the big number, which is six, right? Put that in your head and we're going to count on six, seven, eight. Eight turtles in all. Two plus six equals eight. Great work. Let's go on to the last page. Okay, here we are on the last page of our independent practice page, uh, numbers six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to need to listen to, to the story and use counters to show the addition and draw the picture. Okay, and then write in the equation to tell how many are in all. So just like we were doing on the, on the page before, we're doing the same thing now. So you'll need, count, you'll need to draw counters and write the equation. So listen carefully to my instructions. I'm going to do number six and seven with you, and I think for eight and nine, you'll do on your own. Okay, so I got my counters out and I'm ready. On number six, it says four girls play at the beach. Okay, I need to show those four girls, right? One, two, three, four. There's four girls playing at the beach. And then it says four boys join them. So I'm gonna draw four to show four boys. Yellow count and red counters for the girls. 
yellow counters for the boys. Now we need to write our equation and find out exactly how many there are altogether. There were four girls, right? So we'll write a four. Boys joined them. They added to the group, right? So we're going to use a plus sign. And there was four boys that joined them. So we'll write a four. And that equals how many? Now you can count from one, but we don't have to, right? We know that there's four in this group. We could just count on four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in all. Eight kids in all playing at the beach. Great work. Okay, let's work on number seven. It says eight children rest on the sand. Eight. Eight children. Okay, that's a lot. Let's see if I can fit them all in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, okay, I drew it like a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It said there were eight children, um, eight children resting on the sand. It says one girl joins them. So I just need to put one yellow, right? Good. I'm glad I had room for that. Let's write our equation. There was eight children resting on the sand. And we're adding, right? Another girl joins them. And just one girl joins them. So I'm going to put a one right here. How many is that in all? We don't need to start from one and count all again, right? Eight. And one more is? What comes after eight? Nine. Very good. Eight plus one equals nine. Good work. Okay, number eight. I think you can do this one on your own, okay? I'm going to read you the problem, draw your counters, and then write your equation. It says, two boys play in the water. Okay, so how many counters are you going to draw? Good. Five girls join them. So now you need a different crayon. And you need to draw how many counters to show the girls that join them? Five, right? So you should have two counters for the boys to show the boys and five counters to represent the girls. Now, how many counters do you have in all? Count them up or put the big number in your head and count on five, six, seven, right? Were you able to do it on your own? Do you need some help? I'll go ahead and do it here. Two boys play in the water. Five girls join them. One, two, three, four, five. We can write our equation. There were two boys in the water. We're adding some girls. We added five girls. How many kids all together? That equals five, six, seven, seven. Great work. Okay. Number nine's a little bit different. So listen carefully. Seven children build a sandcastle. Some more help them. There are 10 children building in all. How many more come to help? Okay. So there are seven Kids, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven counters, seven kids that are building a sandcastle. Some more join them, so we know we're adding here, right? So we're going to put a plus sign. We know our equal sign goes here. And we know that there are 10 children building in all. So we know a part and we know the whole. 10 is the whole, right? Now we need to figure out how many are in this part. Let me show you a little trick. I'm going to use a different color counter. So we know there's seven here. To find out how many it takes to get to this number, to 10, the whole, I'm just going to count on. We're going to start at seven and draw counters until we get to 10, right? Seven, eight, nine, 10. How many counters did I draw? Three. So seven plus three must equal 10, right? Let's just count just to make sure. 
7, 8, 9, 10. That's right. 7 plus 3 equals 10. So three more kids joined them. These seven kids started to build a sand castle. Then three more joined them, and now there's 10 altogether. Seven and three are partners in 10. Remember that, okay? Oof, that was tough. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for working so hard. I'm really proud of you, and I can't wait to see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.